Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 5 to the power of x multiplied by 25 to the power of x this is equal to 100 so what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here we have 5 to the power of x multiplied by 25 which you can express as 5 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x this is equal to 100 5 to the power of 2 to the power of x this is in the form of a to the power of n this to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m so we have 5 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of 2x this is equal to 100 now this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n plus m Applying this exponent property, then we have 5 to the power of x plus 2x. This is equal to 100. Now, here we have 5 to the power of 3x. This is equal to 100. To solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides, such that we have log 5 to the power of 3x. This is equal to log 100. Rock 5 to the power of 3x, this is in the form of rock a to the power of n, which you can express as n rock a. Applying this power root property, then rock 5 to the power of 3x, this becomes 3x rock 5. This is equal to rock 100. Now let's divide both signs by rock 5. Here by rock 5. So let's simplify rock 5 and rock 5 here so that now we have 3x this is equal to rock 100 divided by rock 5. Now we can express 100 this is the same thing as 5 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2. So this means we have 3x this is equal to rock 5 to the power of 2 multiplying by 2 to the power of 2 everything here divided by rog 5 now rog 5 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2 this is in the form of rog a multiplying by b which we can express as rog a plus rog b applying this logarithm property then here we have 3x this is equal to rog 5 to the power of 2 divided by rog 5 then plus rog 2 to the power of 2 divided by rog 5 now applying the power root property here then we have 3x this is equal to 2 rog 5 divided by rog 5 then plus 2 rog 2 divided by rog 5 now let's simplify rog 5 and rog 5 here so that now we have 3x this is equal to 2 plus 2 rog 2 divided by rog 5 we have that rog 2 over rog 5 this is in the form of rog a divided by rock b which we can express as rock a to base b so let's apply this logarithm property so that we have 3x this is equal to 2 plus 2 this is rock 2 to base 5 now let's divide both signs by 3 so that now here we have x is equal to 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3 this is rog 2 to base 5 since 2 over 3 is common here we can factor out 2 over 3 into the parentheses this is 1 plus rog 2 to base 5 so this is the value of x the next step is to verify 
that its value of x actually satisfies the equation as follows. Now let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we have that 5 to the power of x multiplying by 25 to the power of x. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. So this is 5 to the power of x multiplying by 25, which is 5 to the power of 2. This to the power of x, this is supposed to give us a value of 100. Now this is 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 2x. This should give us a value of 100. Now this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n plus m. So this is 5 to the power of x plus 2x. This is equal to 100. So we have 5 to the power of 3x. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. Let's substitute x here so that we have 5 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 over 3 into the parentheses. This is 1 plus log 2 to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. Now, Let's simplify here so that we have 5 to the power of 2 times 1. This is 2. Then plus 2 times rog 2 to base 5. This is 2 rog 2 to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. Now, this is a power here. So we can express this as 5 to the power of 2 plus this is rog 2 to the power of 2 base 5 this should give us a value of 100 now 5 to the power of 2 plus rog 2 to the power of 2 to base 5 this is in the form of a to the power of n plus m which you can express as a to the power of n times a to the power of m applying this exponent property then we have 5 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of rog 2 to the power of 2 to base 5, this should give us a value of 100. So 5 to the power of 2, this is 25, multiplied by 5 to the power of rog 2 squared to base 5, and this is in the form of a to the power of rog b to base a, and this is supposed to give us a value of b. Therefore, 5 to the power of rog 2, this to the power of 2 to base 5, this is equal to 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. Let's substitute 4. So we have 25 times 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. 25 times 4, this is equal to 100, which is equal to 100. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that the value of x here, which is 2 over 3, into the parentheses, 1 plus rog 2 to base 5 actually satisfies the equation. So kindly of follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.